Right, so I'm going to take a minute to discuss the no data value concept and, and how that applies in, in QGIS. Okay, so I have two data layers here. We have a land cover data set, which isn't really displayed the way that we'd expect. And then we have a uh, elevation data set here. So note the elevation data set, all the null values around the margins of the extent are not being displayed. So it seems like it under, the software understands that whatever value stored in those cells uh, represents null or no data. In contrast with this NLCD or land cover data set, all this black area here should be uh, no data but is being displayed as if it's a value. Um, and you can see the black is specifically assigned to zero. Um, if we would try to change the symbology for this, to uh, unique values, to let it find it, it lists zero as a value, and actually that should be its null or no data value. Um, and you can see there it takes on a collar. So the issue here is that the null value isn't defined correctly for this layer, but it is for the elevation data set. So let's start by looking at the elevation data set. So if we go into properties, um, and then under symbology, it should give you, oh, is it not under, oh, here we go, sorry, it's under transparencies. So under transparency, um, it sees that negative 32768 is, is, means null, and it's not, and it's not displaying that as a value. If we click off of this and hit apply, note it adds that in as if it's a, a real value. Um, and here you can actually assign additional values that would represent null. If you're wondering why it's negative 32768, um, that's because this is a 16-bit image and it's signed. So basically it go, the, it the values, the gray levels range from negative 32768 to positive 32768. So effectively it just assigned the lowest allowed value in the range to the null, to stand, as a stand-in for null. Um, so anyway, this one's working fine. So we don't really need to do anything with it. In contrast, this NLCD layer, um, if we go into its transparency options, it's the, you can see here it says no data value is not defined. So, and that's because zero is supposed to be the null value, but it's not defined as such. So you can tell it to treat a value as null data. Is, so we can put in zero there and hit apply. And now that those null values go away. Um, if you wanted to try to fix that, you can always, you could export it out. So do a save as. And we'll save it to a GeoTIFF. I'm just going to put it in this folder here. Um, we'll call it NLCD West Virginia 2.tiff. And there should be an option in here to define the null value no data values and we want to hit add and we want zero to zero to be a null null value so let's see i think that should work yeah so we'll hit okay and then that should export that out there we go so now we can see that that null value is being recognized if we go into remove this if we go into this layer, which was the copy, we can now see that zero is set there as, as a null value. Okay, so anyway, you gotta be careful with that. I found that uh, Arc is kind of forgiving with these types of issues, but um, some of the open source software isn't as forgiving with things like cell alignment issues or um, extended alignment issues or uh, incorrect null assignments.